Hi everyone, so welcome to session one for how to uh, accept cryptocurrency payments on your website or how to build a cryptocurrency uh, payment system on your website. So today we're going to be looking at getting our environment set up. Uh, we're going to be using Node version 10 for this. Um, and we've already got a pre-built site, Bitbooks, if you read the description, um, which is basically just a quick e-commerce site that I put together. Um, and we're going to integrate our coin payments or crypto payments into that site. So in this session, we're just going to quickly set up everything. So first of all, what you want to do is if you're using MVM, which I highly recommend, you want to do MVM install 10. Uh, I believe the system already has installed. Yep, so let's do it. MVM use 10. Perfect. Next thing we want to do is, let me just check that I'm in the right place. Yep, we want to clone um, the Bitbooks project. So get clone https card.com forward slash affiliate mens forward slash bitbooks.get. Cool. And we go to bitbooks and like before we have two Docker files. Now we need to create something called a secrets file in here, so we'll just do that now. Um, I'll explain what this is. Um, and we need to get an API key for it. I'll still it stupidly, I deleted my API key. So let's get it back in. So what you want to do is you want to go to google.com um, and you basically want to get a Google API key for books. Um, for the books API, I won't go into too much detail, but there will be a description on how to do that. You don't need to do it for your point, but because I work behind a VPN, it's better just to get an API key. Um, so you want to get Google API key. So let's just have a look here. Google Books API key. So yeah, go to Google and generate an API key. You want to go into your credentials pages. And you just log in, which is what I'm doing now on the other screen. Okay. And you'll probably see my API key, but I'll make sure I delete it. All right, perfect. Then you just want to go into your web and I'll create a other thing and you want to do npmi as usual. Go into the API and do the same. So you just want to install everything via npm. And then we'll take a quick look at the site. I did fire up. Just split this up. Just gotta enter in my authenticator as usual. Uh, let me just do that and then I'll share my screen with you. Alright, so if we have a look, you can see it's a uh, pretty Pretty standard. Pretty standard in here. We've got a few things. Let's do npm run dev. So we get this up and running. And we can run the API. We'll just do node one here, make sure this is all working fine. Um, secrets. Can't read Mongo URL undefined. That's probably because the secrets.json. So let's have a look. Um, okay, I've got an idea. Let me just fix that in. Should be here. Secret stop chasing here. Yeah. Okay, that's because it lives under environment. So let's just go up a directory. And here, what we want to do is we want to just do this. 
Actually, you've got your environment variable set up. That was my mistake. Um, but of course, uh, what we can do is this as well. And make sure you've got MongoDB server as well. That's something I should have mentioned. So you'll see I've got no MongoDB server. So I'll just do that now. System control enable Mongo start. Yeah. Yep, so make sure MongoDB is running. Uh, install it in your system, however. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know how to do that. Um, cool, let's go into the API console. So you basically want to go into your Google APIs. I'll just share that now. There we go. Um, so Bitbooks. Just go to credentials. Create an API key as I've got here. Perfect. And then add it to your secrets, like so. And everything's running. So if we have a look at the website now. Um, didn't like that for some reason. Probably because I got to rebuild. Let's do that. Not sure why it's uh, not enjoying this. Okay. And there we go. So this is the Bitbooks website. It's pretty bog standard. You've got a V products, products. So you click the products and nothing happens apparently. So let's determine why that's the case. All right, so access is not defined. Let's uh, double check that. So these are probably issues that you will also go through. So I'm going to make sure we resolve them. Um, let me have a look at the terminal screen. So you can see we've got a bunch of issues here, which is fine. So let's make sure we got access. So, what we want to do is, let me switch back to web, perfect. Okay, so we'll go into our credentials, we've got our credentials here, but we probably want to enable them in the dashboard. So let's do enable API services, we'll search for books, and there's the Google Books APIs. Enable. So once that's enabled, we should be able to access it. I mean, it takes a little bit of time. This is where you want to do it. Perfect. Let's, uh, let's reset. Okay, let's try again. Perfect. So that was it. We just need to set that up. Um, I'm kind of glad that got shown. And you can see we got a bunch of books here. So we've got like The Lord of the Rings, Great Expectations, The Hobbit, Rivers of London, blah, 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 blah. And let's say we want to buy one of these books. We go here and we currently have just a pay with card. Now this doesn't work. We haven't set out the back end for that kind of EPOS system. But what we want to do is we want to add pay with cryptocurrencies there. So let's, uh, let's add that so we're good to go on this session, shall we? So what you're going to want to do is let's change to terminal plus web as usually do. So we've got the pay with card down there. Let's go into our web and we'll make that change. So we can have a crypto. Uh, we won't even have the crypto form actually. We haven't got that yet. Okay. So we're going to check out dot view. Um, it's worth having a little read of this code. Um, you should have seen the GitHub URL there, but I'll make sure it's in the description. 
Um, and let's see. So we'll have another element here called. Uh, we won't, it's not active at this stage, but we'll add in the code to make it active. Um, we won't have the link, I don't think. Well, let's do it anyway. So call it pay with crypto. Um, whichever crypto you want to support, we're only supporting one coin, so we're just going to do it like that. There it is right there. Very nice. Uh, let's make it clickable, shall we? So, let's uh, stake this card. The if state equals card. That's a good little VF there. And then we can just do some clicks. So let's do some methods. Method. Okay. We'll do const ID. We'll just do some computed as well, I think, actually. We're doing do some compu computed values. Um, I just want to do is card return state equals card just because we're going to be using this before and then we'll just do is crypto return state equals crypto okay now let's do that we'll get rid of this So the first thing we want to do, we want it if state equals card. Let's just change this to the is card. That works nicely. And we're going to do is active is card. Let's do that. That should remain active. And then we'll do li class equals. is active equals and this one we'll do is crypto okay so we've got his crypto here and his card there now Let's go about changing this. So in this, what we want to do, let's just separate these out because they're getting a little bit chunky. I want to try and keep everything nice and secure. Okay. So let's add the click elements, not clock, click equals um, card clicked. We can just do that. And we'll do here and click equals crypto clicked. And we'll just add some simple methods in here. That should be enough. We've got a couple of elements here. We just need to do this dot state. So let's do that. All right. And we need triple equals because. All right, let's give it a go, shall we? Okay, cool. So it definitely works. Um, the issue we've got though is the is active is not showing up. 
Okay, let's uh let's see if we can do this then. Let's just try state equals card state equals crypto. Uh, so it looks like that should be fine. That's not the issue here because we've got the uh, thing else. So let me just double check on the view. I'll leave that there. Oh, okay. I know what the issue is. We need to do this. And that should be it. There we go. So we've added in a tab now, so you can see where we're going with this. We're going to basically add in um, underneath this, we're going to add the form that we're going to be able to use to fill out and obtain the cryptocurrency address and do some payments. We're going to add things like web sockets and stuff as well later on, as is in the description. So that's the first session today. We've basically got set up. Uh, make sure you've got MongoDB running. Don't make the mistake I did. And um, make sure you get a Google API key for Google Books, uh, because that's where we get all the nice information. Um, if you're not doing, you know, Bitbooks, or if you're building something yourself, then you know, feel free to use whatever you need to do. But this is just for the example. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in session two.